In this short video, I'll show you with two examples how to use split and jump. In the first example, one column is split by a second column. The second example involves a group variable. In the popcorn data table, the data in the trial column shows there are two trials, one and two. In this example, split the yield column into two columns, one for trial and one for trial two. I'll first select help, then sample data library and open popcorn. Then from the tables menu, select split. I'll select the yield column and click split columns. I'll select the trial column and click split by. Then under remaining columns, select keep all. The default is drop all, which omits any columns that are not in the split by, split columns, or group fields. Selecting keep all includes these columns in the new table. Now I'll click OK and the new data table is created. Notice the following. The yield and trial columns are gone. The data table has two new columns named after the unique values 1 and 2 from the original trial column. The columns other than trial and yield are exactly the same as they were in the original table. I suggest we rename the new columns to give them meaningful names. For example, rename 1 to yield trial 1 and rename 2 to yield trial 2. The next example, the drug measurement sample data contains measurements of three different drugs, A, B, and C, administered to 12 different subjects. You want to split the measurements into different columns, one for each drug type. You also want the measurements by subjects. I'll select Help, then Sample Data Library and open Drug Measurements. From Tables, I'll select Split. Then I'll select Drug Type and click Split By. And now I'll select Measurement and click Split Columns. Notice that the subject variable contains unequal groups. Most of the subjects were given all three drugs, but subject 2 was given only one drug, and subjects 7 and 12 were given only two drugs. In this situation, to ensure that the correct measurements are associated with the correct subject, specify subject as the group variable. Select subject and click group. Now I'll click OK. And here is the drug measurement split by grouping variable. You can see that the appropriate missing values appear for subjects 2, 7, and 12.